from peaches, pecans, and peanuts to the watermelon capital of the world and how to pronounce the capital of Georgia the right way and many more things you need to know before moving to the peach state. What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Misha Thompson. I'm your local real estate professional here in middle Georgia and over the last couple of years I helped numerous buyers and sellers with all their real estate needs. And if you have any questions about that or you're looking to move to the area, my contact information is in the description below. Contact me anytime. If you're new to me and new to this channel, consider subscribing and turning that notification bell on so you will stay up to date with all the latest videos. Let's start with something nutritious and delicious. No, delicious and nutritious. The three Ps. Peaches, pecans and peanuts. Georgia probably should be the pecan or peanut state because the peach state itself does not produce the most peaches in the US anymore. California and South Carolina actually produce more than the peach state itself. But when it comes to pecans and peanuts, Georgia is the leader of producing both of those. And if you drive through Georgia, you see a lot of peach orchards and you see a lot of pecan orchards. I personally have not seen many peanut farms out here, but apparently Georgia outproduces everyone in the United States when it comes to peanuts. The next thing is very important for everyone who has problems with allergies. If you see something fluffy in your hair, your spouse's hair, or your child's hair, it's definitely not snow. It is going to be pollen. With all those trees, peach trees, pecan trees, and a lot of pine trees, you have a big issue with pollen. And the pine trees are super bad in April. In that time frame, it is horrible. You see pollen on you, you'll see on your car. It looks like you drove a rally through the Mojave Desert, it is horrible. So if you have problems with allergies, Georgia is going to be a big challenge for you. I think the next one a lot of people did not know, do not know, and always did wrong, unless you're from Georgia and you call the capital Atlanta, because it is not Atlanta. The second T is silent, so it is Atlanta. It is not Atlanta. So don't get it wrong. I think most of you probably did it wrong their entire life because they always say, let's go to Atlanta. We are flying to Atlanta, but it is actually Atlanta, Georgia. Let's talk about watermelons real quick. Everyone loves watermelons and I never heard someone say, I hate watermelons. I'm allergic to watermelons. Well, there might be people who hate watermelons and there might be people who are allergic to watermelons. But the ones that are not allergic and don't hate watermelons, how are they gonna eat watermelons? With or without salt? How do you like your watermelon? Put it in the comments below. I know it's a southern thing to put salt on the watermelon. I just never did it and I probably never will do it, but how do you like your watermelon? While we're talking about watermelons, Cordill, Georgia is actually the unofficial watermelon city of the world. They produce so many red seedless watermelons that people from all over the United States come to Cordill, visit the farmer's markets and buy watermelons just to sell them in their state. It is crazy. And if you're visiting Georgia or you're moving to Georgia, Cordill might be a place to visit when they are having their famous watermelon festival. People who are interested in moving to Georgia are always asking, what is the weather like? I've never been to Georgia. What are the seasons? Well, I can tell you there are four seasons, summer, 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 and Christmas. And the reason for the variety in seasons is that it is pretty much summer all the year. I mean, if it is not hot and humid and you need to change your clothes three times a day because you didn't do anything and you're soaking wet, then it's just warm, summerly warm. The rest of the year when it's Christmas season, that's pretty much when the temperatures are below 55 and people actually start wearing winter jackets because it's so cold. So that's pretty much your weather here in Georgia. Another frequently asked question is what is there to do in Georgia? And everyone wants to do something when they live somewhere. I get it and you have to get out. You have to explore. If you want to explore and get out, you can do a lot here in Georgia. Or in the city and an hour later on the beach, you can visit 
Stone Mountain, for example, or Little Crane Canyon. You can visit Savannah or Helen. Helene, what is the actual name of the city? How do you pronounce it? Is it Helen or is it Helene? I know it's a little German town in the middle of Georgia, but if you want to learn something about the Georgia history, there's something. If you just want to relax on the beach, there's something. If you want to hike in the mountains, there is something. You have to get out and do it. Well, another thing you need to know, if you move to Georgia and you're a business person, you might want to buy a set of golf clubs because everyone here plays golf somehow. And there are so many golf courses. I think Georgia has the most golf courses in the entire USA. If you are just within a 15 mile radius of Warner Robins, for example, you have 16 golf courses you can play at. And you don't have to be good. I suck, but I play. It's fun to connect with other people. So you might want to consider buying golf clubs and play a little bit with your business partners and have some fun there. When it comes to business, Georgia is the place to be. More and more companies move to Georgia. More and more companies open their headquarters in Georgia and there are already a lot of companies that are located in Georgia. So if you're looking for a job opportunity, might wanna look into Georgia. Atlanta, for example, is home to 15 Fortune 500 companies. Coca-Cola, Delta, Home Depot, and Affleck, I think. Affleck, is that the company with that little duck, that insurance company? Comment below if I'm right. The last thing I want to talk about is very important, especially if you want to move to Georgia, the affordability, cost of living. And cost of living here in Georgia is 27% cheaper than the national average. And that goes for health, for groceries, for transportation, for utilities, and for purchasing a home. It's way cheaper to own a home and live here in Georgia than in many other states. So if you are looking for affordable and business opportunities, job opportunities, Georgia might be the right place for you unless you hate pollen and heat and humidity, then Georgia might be not the right place for you. Thank you everyone for watching. This was my little video about the things you need to know before moving to Georgia. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you will stay up to date with all the latest videos I upload. And if you haven't, check out my other videos and see if you like some of that content as well. I'll see you in the next one.